Salut le peuple! Welcome back to another video. If you're already part of the family, thank you once again for tuning in. And if you're new here, my name's Armanita. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my content, don't forget to subscribe and to hit that bell notification. In light of the Black Lives Matter movement and everything that's been going on these past few months, well, I know those who are part of the Black community. We've been doing a lot of efforts to invest our coins into black owned businesses in order to support ourselves so this is the perfect video for you you'll have four brands they happen to be all canadian actually which i love that you might know or not know and decide to trust with your money instead of giving it to the others and if you're not black and you consider yourself an ally then that's okay I hope that you'll find a brand and that you'll decide to invest in the community as well. Let's start with the first brand. I am so, so, so excited. I honestly think it's my favorite brand out of everything I'm going to present. I discovered this brand during the pandemic and um, it's no other than Atelier Sira. I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with that brand. Atelier Sira is a minimalist, vegan, cosmetic, and skincare brand. The owner is honestly so hardworking. She's so sweet. I love her work and her products. She has lip glosses, lip scrubs, body butters, serums for your face, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's all she has at the moment. But uh, anyways, so these are the current lip glosses. This is in the shade Minty and this is Blossom. This is my favorite shade. I'm obsessed with this shade. These are the old ones. I think she still sells them like this. I'm not sure. Um, they're small like this. This is Blossom. This is Pralin and Latte, I think. Not sure. I stopped using any other lip gloss that I have. These are the only lip glosses that I use. They are non-sticky. They actually hydrate your lips. I always put them before going to bed and I'll wake up and I won't have that disgusting white line. Like I, I don't know what she does, Marianne. I don't know what you're doing with your products, but I absolutely, absolutely love them. She also has a glow face serum. This is a rose petal extract, avocado oil, argan oil, vitamin E oil, sweet almond oil, and organic rosehip oil um, serum. It's super cute. It has like the little petals in there for aesthetic reasons. I bought her serum to replace the rosehip seed oil that I originally had from The Ordinary. If I were to compare the two on my face, this is honestly just how my skin reacts to the product. I feel like if I have little pimples or something, they go away faster when I use the ordinary one. I think it's only because it's 100% rose hip seed oil, but if I wanna have that glow and I don't want my face to feel too heavy, I don't want my face to smell, this is the way to go. I have nothing wrong to say, honestly, 1010, her customer service is amazing. Like, anyways, get yourself some Atelier Sira. Number two, we have Malachit and Elephant, which is an online beauty store, Haitian owned, and they're located in Gatineau. They have so, so many things on their website, like honestly, anything you can think of. They have beauty products, they have hair products, things for your face, your body, bath, wellness. If you go on the website, you can check it out, but some of their profits actually go to Haiti, and I think that's really amazing. So the first thing I have is this mesh body exfoliator it looks like this basically i don't remember where i've seen this this african youtuber i say african because i don't remember which country exactly she's from but she says that in her country people use this all the time and it does an amazing job at removing dead skin cells and personally i'm not a fan of the plastic loofahs i feel like they just slide on my skin they don't take off the dead skin cells and that's what i want so i've actually been looking for this a very very long time i couldn't find them at the ethnic markets i went to so i'm super happy with this it does an amazing job at taking off all the dead skin cells when i say that it does a good job it does a good job you want to be careful because at first i was too excited i was like <laughs> and it hurt <laughs> so uh just be careful number two 
we have the body butter. It's made with shea, cocoa, and mango butters, coconut oil, and an essential oil blend. The texture is more like shea butter, but um, honestly, it smells so, so good. It has like an earthy, chocolatey type of smell. And I... Um, no, honestly, it smells weird. Like, you will literally smell like a snack. Like... This. Like oh, This came in very clutch because I didn't like the moisturizer that I had before. It was like Jergens. And I didn't like that. So I like this. It smells better. It feels better on the skin. My skin is super, super soft once I put it. And the last thing that I have from them is their body oil. It's a mix of sweet almond, jojoba, grapeseed, and Haitian black castor oil. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let me tell you. You use the scrub, you put the butter, and then you put this, your skin is done. You should definitely check her out. Marashitan Ilipong. Up next, we have Crown Me Hair. They sell natural, textured, 100% virgin human hair, heat resistant and synthetic hair extensions, wigs, ponytails, and so much more. They sent me this hair, which came in very clutch because I announced it on my Instagram, but I'm transitioning. It's been about a year now, actually. I obviously don't really know how to manage my natural hair when it's not in protective hairstyles. I use this just to give me a bit more length. I'm still new to the whole hair thing, but I think it's kinky hair. They look kind of weird because the last time I wore them, I curled them and I haven't reverted them to their original state. But uh, this is the hair. The hair is super soft. It's heat resistant. I will say though that I don't think it holds the curls really, really tight. These are really good if you want to have a, more of a beach wave type of look. But if you want like the tight, tight curls, I think you should get some other extensions and maybe not the kinky ones. They have other ones, so you'll find whatever you need. The hair doesn't shed actually, like at all. And I'm pretty rough with hair on my scalp, whether it's mine or not. So uh, feel free to check them out and uh, encourage this business. The last brand I have for you today is called Luscious Divas and they are based in Ottawa. The owners are from minorities, so one of them is black and the other is a Latina. It comes in a super cute box, okay, and uh, you know, you have your lashes inside, you have like this little cute thingy here which I think is adorable. You also get a spoolie brush for your lashes. And when you buy two lashes, you get a lash applicator for free. And my favorite thing about this brand is their business cards. At the bottom, it says, Jesus loves you. In their bio, they say, We're two friends who wanted to start a business selling quality beauty products for an affordable price while being able to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. We have a passion for working and serving others. So I just think that's a, such a cute way to spread the gospel in a non-invasive way, honestly. This could go a very, very long way. So shout out to you ladies. Feel free to support this brand. That is all I have to present today. I hope you guys found at least one brand that interests you and I really hope that you guys go buy something and go support these brands. Once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.